Yo, what's up guys? Shut here. <laughs> what's up guys? Aster here, actually. Uh, and we are back for another GOT showcase today with uh, Reuniclus, uh, Zapdos, Diggersby, Mega Sharpedo, Seismitoad, and Halucha. We left behind the Mawile. This is Shoddy and the Bayern Munich team. Really cool team. And out of all the ones I've used so far, uh, except for maybe Jose's, I think they're about on par. Uh, this one, uh, actually Rob's, I would say Rob's and, uh, and Ethan's came the closest. But this one is the biggest threat in OU, actually. It, it makes a lot of sense and it works all together. If you look at the team, it has a very common weakness in grass. You have Diggersby, Sharpedo, and Seismitoad that are all really weak to grass type attacks. And then he paired it with a Zapdos, a Halucha, a potential Mawile, and a Reuniclus that doesn't really care about any hit. So, this team really, really works all together and I'll show you guys how it works. Made a really cool, uh, Calm Mind Reuniclus, Standard Zapdos, Banded Diggersby with knockoff because I wanted to be able to hit uh, Gengar on the switch. We have Sharpedo uh, with Hydro Pump. This is the OU set. This works really well for 2 KOing uh, physically defensive Skarmory. It also allows me to hit um, Landorus without having to uh, lose attack uh, when he comes in and intimidates. Hydro Pump hits on the special side. We are a, a naughty nature, I believe. Then we have Seismitoad, Stealth Rocker, and of course Halucha, the uh, late game setup sweeper. So. Let's see what we can do with this team. Um, Halucha is actually a pretty good answer to, uh, to Landorus. Just like it comes in on EQs and it sets up swords dances like like it's nothing. It's really, really fun. So, your, your team sucks to play against <laughs> my opponent immediately. <laughs> Have fun, man. Uh, Unburdened SD Halucha. Yeah, yeah, he, he notices the threat right away. That's really good. Uh, Alright, so... Let's lead off here with, I think, I don't want to lead off with Seismitoad because of the Latios. Like, I just feel like I'm going to get bodied by that thing. Or even Charizard Y. Uh, Life Orb Banded Diggersby. <laughs> the Scarf slash Life Orb slash Banded Diggersby. Like, he's just calling out all my sets right now, or at least he's trying to. Uh, I really want to lead off here with, um, let's lead off with Reuniclus. Uh, as he leads off with Lando, which is fine. I didn't want the Charizard to get an immediate amazing lead matchup against anything, so this is why I lead, uh, led off with Reuniclus. I'm just going to go for a Psy Shock here. Uh, if he wants to go into Bisharp, that's fine. He's going to go for a knockoff, actually, uh, which is fine as well, because I don't believe he can knock me out on the following turn. We actually get a crit on the Psy Shock, a little unfortunate for my opponent. Uh, I think he's maybe Scarfed. Uh, that could be it. I'm going to go for a Recover here, because if he is Scarfed, then uh, I can just uh, live the next knockoff, get back some health. I think that's the course of action here. Uh, Charizard Y is going to be a problem to this team. He's going to go for an explosion and get rid of Reuniclus early, so good play. Uh, however, however, um, doesn't, doesn't this get a kill? I feel like it does. Except he has the Latios, like the Latios is the biggest problem. Is no more. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really feel like the Latios is the biggest problem. Let's go into Seismitoad. Let's try to, uh, let's attempt to get up our rocks at this point. I think he might go into Charizard, but there's nothing I can really do about that. If he goes Zard, then I'll, I'll try to play some Switch games. Maybe with Halucha. Uh, <laughs> he's so scared of Halucha, but like, he has the priority Aqua Jet. Stuff like that, so. Uh, he actually goes into Kyurem, which I don't believe can knock me out with any one hit. So this is pretty much uh, rocks. I need them up. He goes for the Outrage. It does a good amount of damage, but not enough, clearly. Um, is this more defensive than Zapdos? Uh, it is slightly. Yeah. So I can't really switch out right here. I think I just have to go for a knockoff. He's gonna go for another Outrage. Uh, he's gonna get confused on that turn. <laughs> if I set up with Halucha right now, he might just lose. <laughs> uh, which is faster than this unless he's Scarfed. Uh, but I don't think that was Scarf damage. Let me just pull up a Calc here. Uh, Seismitoad. Versus... I'm just gonna ignore my opponent because he's, he's talking quite a bit. And it's kind of throwing me off. Um, Seismitoad versus um, Kirim. I just want to see if uh, if that was banded damage. I don't think it is. Uh, I don't think it's max attack damage either. Because I feel like it would have done a lot more. Let's just see. Where the heck is Kirim? Kirim Black. Uh, Choice Scarf versus Seismitoad, the defensive set, please. Thank you. Outrage does 50 to 59. Okay, so he might be Scarfed, actually. He might be Scarfed. Um, saying that, I think that my best play is probably going out into... If Seismitoad took that much, then you can take one. Yeah, I'm going to go out into um, into Diggersby here. 
and we're gonna go for a frustration because it knocks out something on his team the only thing it doesn't knock out is the uh, is the bishop but that thing gets so weakened that it, it helps me out basically so we'll go for frustration here i don't know if he's gonna want to risk the confusion uh he's actually gonna go out into latios which is the biggest threat to me on his team i don't know if he knew that but yeah he just sacked it so <laughs> that that definitely works out for us uh if he goes into charizard i have to uh, i have to evaluate my options he actually chooses to go into kirim okay um yeah ice beam is gonna mess me up especially if he's scarfed so i might want to keep my priority intact uh sharpedo damages this thing and puts it in range of stealth rocks i believe uh, or at least of quick attack which might be my play uh, I think I have to switch directly into Sharpedo. Yes, piss poor special defense. Oh my god. That's so bad. Does Kirim just knock me out with Ice Beam? Like, <laughs> I feel like it does. It, even on a resist. Um, oh, you cleaner. Ice Beam is going to do 45 to 54. So, it's not a bad switch. We'll go into it. He goes, for, he goes straight for the Outrage. He doesn't care. Okay. Alright, so we know that Zapdos can take this. Now, the problem is... <laughs> I don't really want to take this. What am I going to do back to this thing? Like, I, yes, I can win with Halucha, but he has the Zoomerel. When am I going to set up? Does Halucha live this? Because it would do 173 to Sharpedo. Um, Outrage is a guaranteed kill from a Choice Scarf variant with max attack. So I can't do that. I have to go into Zapdos. Uh, we got to hope he gets confused. Uh, actually, I'm going to Roost here. He's locked into Outrage, so... Roost is definitely my play. He gets confused. Awesome. And uh, we'll be able to throw out a Thunderbolt right here. He can't switch into anything on the T-Bolt. So if he wants to keep this, he's going to end up losing something else in the process, which is very nice. Um, Bisharp doesn't go straight down, but it'll go down with the combination of uh, Thunderbolt plus Heat Wave and knock off unless it's plus two Life Orb does not knock me out. He's going to go into Bisharp. There we go. I'm going to get off some nice damage on this. And uh, I feel like a knockoff is just coming my way, so I'm gonna go for the uh, I'm gonna go for the roost. I almost clicked the fog; that would have been terrible. He's actually gonna go for sucker punch. What if I brought in Halucha there? <laughs> Come on, man! Aren't you scared of it? Uh, I'm gonna go for the um, I'm gonna go for the heat wave this time. He's gonna go for sucker. Uh, it is life orb indeed. Hopefully we land this. Okay, good, we do. Uh, I should have just gone for T bolt. Honestly, that was that was a dumb play. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> Don't ever do that. That was terrible. Um, now, Charizard comes in at 50, so does Kirin, because it has already switched in once on rocks. I'm almost guaranteed, I'm almost 100% sure that this is Charizard Y. If I'm wrong, I can lose right here. Um, if I'm right, then he knocks me out, I go into... Uh, <laughs> I go into Diggersby and click Quick Attack a bunch of times, I think. That's my play. Uh, don't I need to keep this, though? That's the problem. Don't I need to keep this for his Kirim? So that it can't just spam Outrage. Well, no, not necessarily. Let's go for T-Bolt. Okay, so we're wrong. He is uh, Charizard X. He gets a Crit Flare Blitz. That probably didn't matter. Now, the good news is... I could just go into Halucha and click High Jump Kick. The problem with that is... If his Kirim outspeeds me, it's going to knock me out with Ice Beam. Or Outrage. So, I don't really gain much. Uh, I can sub a couple of times to make sure that he... Yeah, that might be my play. I just want to see how much quick attack from Di uh, Bandit Diggersby does. Uh, choice Scarf to change this to Choice Bandit, and we're adamant. Uh, adamant, quick attack. Uh, quick attack. Does 34 to 38, so a crit would kill. How much do I do to Azumarill? If it's Choice Bandit. Uh, I do 39 to 47, so not the best amount of damage, not exactly what I was looking for. Uh, but I am going to go into Halucha because I think I need the Unburden. Yeah, I'm going to go into Halucha. We're going to uh, go for a Substitute. If he goes for Roost, that's fine. I can just go for Sword Dance on the following turn and then knock him out with a High Jump Kick. I need to do this. I don't have a choice. I have to go for Substitute. Uh, as he goes for a Flare Blitz, I think he's going to end up knocking himself out. No, maybe not. Um, let's go for Sub again. As he's probably just going to blitz again. Oh, we're going to get the uh, Citrus Berry right there. He is going to blitz again. Awesome. And now we'll go for the Acrobatics. I assume that the Azumarill is going to come in. Because I'm really thinking that the Kiram is Scarfed. I really am, guys. There's no, there's nothing else it can be. It has to be Choice Scarfed. But he brings it in. 
What? Dude, I have my unburden. I'm gonna go for high jump kick and knock this thing out. Woo! All right, we knock out the Kirim. All right, that was... I, I don't understand that play. Like, even if he's belly drum here, like, what what is that play? This acrobatics is gonna do too much. It's gonna do way too much. It's, it's a base 110 attack. It's gonna do 48%. He is gonna get the Citrus Berry, but he's gonna be in range of quick attack. Like, look at that. He's at 15%. That's GG. He's, he can't be over to 18 speed. All we have to do is make sure we click the right move. And that's gonna be GG. There we go. So, uh, down goes the Azumarill, and uh, that is GG. Let's move on to the next game. So, as you can see, the priority on this team, just with just with Diggersby, just that quick attack alone is often enough. Uh, we get a very, very offensive team, and this I'm scared of, actually. Zapdos can handle it for the most part, like, looking at the majority of his members. It's just the T-Tar that I'm scared of. Uh, also, I do not have a Volcanion switch in. What am I talking about? I have a Seismic Toad. Um... Zapdos is okay. I can deal with it with Reuniclus. Uh, do I do I just want to wall break turn one? No, you know what? Let's lead off with Seismitoad as he leads off with Garchomp, which is absolutely fine. Uh, we're gonna go for Stealth Rocks. He's gonna go for Earthquake. It's gonna do a good amount of damage. <clears throat> Not anywhere near enough though. I'm assuming he's uh, he's scarfed or or something of the sort. He probably just wants damage on this so the Volcanion can win. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm gonna go straight out into Zapdos here. He's definitely offensive. It would have never done that much. Uh, he does go for Sword Zance. Okay, so that's a little bit scary. Um, I don't have anything to straight up counter that. I do have Sharpedo that can protect and then go for an Ice Fang on the following turn. So what I'm actually gonna do is just go for... Uh, I'm just gonna go for a Heat Wave. He's gonna go for Dragon Claw. It is gonna 2-hit KO me, of course. Uh, I do still need Zapdos, though. Uh, we get a Burn. Wow, that's huge, dude. Because now his Dragon Claw doesn't kill me and I can Roost. He goes for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. We're going to get this Roost off. And this Garchomp is going to start getting weakened really fast. Uh, I'm going to go for a Defog. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Like, there was... I, I, I don't control that, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm a bad player because I don't control the... Yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm going to Roost again. He's going to go for another uh, Swords Dance, that's fine. He's basically back up to where he was before and I can just Roost stall him. Uh, he's going to get off 61% right there. I'm just going to click Roost continuously. Uh, and yeah, that's my game plan. He goes for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. We'll go for another Roost, he goes for another Dragon Claw, and his Garchomp is now dead. I can bring this in later to Defog, possibly on the uh, Scizor. Uh, problem is this thing might have Pursuit. I'm not sure. I don't really have a switch into this, do I? Uh, yeah, this is kind of threatening. Realistically, Reuniclus isn't doing anything for the rest of the game, so I'm just gonna go into that as he goes for a Stone Edge that does 60%. That tells me he's probably banded, um, which means he has to hit another one. If he misses, then Focus Blast will kill him. He does hit, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll go out into Seismitoad now, and we will... I did want to get rid of Rocks, but realistically, I don't have to. I think I'd much rather have Rocks up on his side. He's gonna go for another Edge that is gonna do quite a bit, actually. Uh, we might be able to live another one, though, because that did 30.9, we're at 31.4. So we're just gonna go for an earthquake right here. He does miss the next stone edge, which means that now he won't be able to kill us. And I can probably just fire off a scald here. Uh yeah, that's my play for sure. As he goes into tornadoes, yep. If we can burn, I mean that's great, but we don't, that's fine. Um I already hacked him enough <laughs> in this game. Uh, that burn on, on Garchomp was huge. Uh, I'm gonna go for knockoff. He's gonna go for a knockoff of his own. And he's not life orb, so he's probably assault vest. There it is. And I can definitely see a Hurricane coming out here. Uh, I actually might want to switch out into Zapdos. This might be my opportunity to do so. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go out into Zapdos. And uh, he's probably going to go for a Hurricane. We'll see. There it is. It misses, unfortunately, for him. Uh, now, if he's Banded T-Tar, he might be max speed. I'm going to go for T-Bolt. He's going to go for Knockoff to get rid of my Leftovers. And we're going to knock out his Tornadus. And uh, T-Tar comes right back in, as you see. And... Um, we're 29.5 with Seismitoad, so we do not live. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Halucha can't win on its own because of the Zapdos. Uh, Sharpedo can definitely take this game. I just need a little bit of damage on the uh, Volcanion and the Scizor. So maybe it can't take this game. <laughs> uh, let's just go for the Defog. Let's get rid of the rocks on both sides once again. As he's going to go for a Pursuit this time. So that's not going to be able to knock me out at all. We'll be able to Roost as he goes into his Zapdos, which is absolutely fine, and we'll be able to throw out a Thunderbolt right here, as he goes right back out into T-Tar on my T-Bolt, 
leaving him at 5% and I'm assuming that the Stone Edge is coming my way, except I'm faster than him. So I can just throw out another T-Bolt here and knock out T-Tar. Sand will go down in two turns from now. And Volcanion and Scizor both go down to Zapdos. So I think this is going to be the first instance, as long as I, can, I don't choke, I think this is going to be the first instance of us winning two in one. So a little bit lucky, I will say. Um, you actually would have sacked your Sizz answer. My Sizz answer? What are you talking about? I have another Sizz answer. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I would have sacked my Sizz answer. Um... I'm gonna go out into Seismic Toad here, no problem, as he goes for a Fire Blast and misses, unfortunately, for him. Uh, and I'm just gonna throw out a Scald here, uh, as he goes for another Fire Blast, gets a crit, not a big deal. As now we'll go out into uh, Diggersby, as long as he's not max speed, I will be able to get off a Choice Bandit Frustration right here. Scizor does come in, it's gonna take a lot from this, uh, it takes 44%, and we'll just go for another one, honestly, as he's probably gonna roost up. Uh, and let's see it. There it is, and we'll go out into Zapdos now. As we check this pretty well, if he goes for a U-turn, then good play. There it is. And uh, now I have no switch into Volcanion at all. I would have really liked to have rocks up, but it uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, Sharpedo is my switch in here. If he specs, he will knock us out more than likely with Steam Eruption. Uh, almost does. Gets a burn. All right, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Mega Evolved Crunch, just to get off some damage on this thing, as he's actually faster than us. Hold up. I'm 309 speed, he's scarfed. Huh. Okay, wait a minute. If he's scarfed, then he probably doesn't knock out Halucha, right? Volcanion. Burning Tank versus Halucha. Uh, sub plus Swords Dance. Steam Eruption from uh, Leftovers variant actually still knocks us out. Wow. That's modest, though. Hmm. And if he's modest, then he will go down to frustration. How much did I do to uh, Scizor after Mega? 33? If I went for Earthquake there, like... Huh. Alright, so we know that Zapdos doesn't outspeed this. We know that he only has 6 Steam Eruptions left. Which is more than enough to knock me out, honestly. Uh, we also know that Halucha probably does not outspeed. Uh, depends. If he's modest, then we outspeed. If he's t That's actually a good way to find out. 239 times 1.5 hits 358 so if he stays in on Halucha and he outspeeds me we know he's um, he's not modest which means he won't be able to knock me out with spe uh, steam eruption either if he's timid he'll only be able to do oh no he still can yeah 103 max okay well I guess we uh, I guess we try it out right let's go into Halucha and uh, I think we just click uh, high jump kick here he has a switch in in Zapdos every single time uh, and he's going to make that switch, which is very good. He has pressure, of course. We are going to hit the uh, high jump kick. And... Hmm. Is Diggers be my play? Because I'm going to take an HP Ice, right? I might. I might. We, we don't know yet. Zapdos, physically defensive versus... Um, Diggers B. Can I take one HP Ice? I think I can. Uh, let's change Heat Wave to Hidden Power. Hidden Power Ice... 43 to 52. Yeah, I can switch into this. That's fine. Now, the thing is, if I go for a Frustration, he can switch in his Scizor. But if I switch in directly into Zapdos after and he goes for Roost, then we're fine. He actually chooses to switch back out directly into Volcanion, which is a very good play. Uh, knowing that I wouldn't attack again, which is very nice. Um, he can miss Eruption. I'm not playing off of that, though. He knows that we're banded. So, do I just go for a quick attack? How much is this thing actually going to take? Probably not a lot, because it does have more physical defense than special. Uh, choice, banded. Return does 60, well, return does 69 to 81 from, no wait, hold on, adamant. Uh, 76 to 89, so quick attack should do a lot less. Wow. Quick attack does 29 to 35. Which would put him in Thunderbolt range from Zapdos, I believe. As it does, yeah. So we could do that and play off of one of the misses. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go for a quick attack, just to damage this. As he goes for a Steam Eruption, connects, knocks us out, of course. Uh, now we're going to go into Zapdos. We need him to miss, so that's literally our only way to win, is if he misses this attack. Uh, so we will go for the Thunderbolt as he connects. And I need him to miss now. It's now or never. 
So we'll go for a Swords Dance. He lands the Steam Eruption, does not knock us out, gets the burn. Yep, GG. So I spoke a little too soon. Uh, we got the Citrus Berry, that's not going to matter at all. I'm just going to go for High Jump Kick, and I'm even going to miss. So <laughs> that's going to be that. We do go 1-1 one one once again, just as uh, the trend continues with these videos. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Check out Shoddy. He has more subs than me, you guys. Uh, I think. I think. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he does. But anyway, if you want to go uh, check him out anyway, uh, in the description down below if you haven't checked him out yet. He has some great league content. Uh, an amazing player. He's considered one of the top five from Generation 6. So I highly, highly recommend uh, checking out his... Uh, his team, his games, his, his the leagues he's in, all the videos he uploads. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.